Last year, the coffee shop located at the MCHS concessions was an opportunity for students and teachers to grab some coffee during free periods. However, this school year administration decided to close the coffee shop for behavioral concerns. Mr. Jordan Diener explains why the coffee shop is not currently available for students. There was some issues with students abusing the privilege of it. So not a lot of students, but a handful of students who were abusing it and uh, not being respectful and responsible of th those privileges and working with the staff from that coffee shop. Um, and then in regards to that, when talking about next year and expectations, the goal for all students is to have privileges, but to motivate students. So you really want students who are, are following this, the basic understanding of school, like attending their classes, focusing on their work, all the things I think most students do. Um, but to earn a privilege, you need to make sure you're following the, what we expect in your normal day to day before we give more to you. Student Gabby Moreno talks about why she likes the coffee shop downstairs. Yeah, I like the coffee shop. I thought it was a really good addition to the school. It made the whole vibe good and everything, and it was just nice to know that like, if you needed anything, you could just go there. The coffee shop was a fun way for students to get an easy start to their day, but concerns involving students being tardy caused privileges to be taken away. Dr. Perkin explains how students took advantage of the coffee shop. We've talked about this, you know, like pretty strict parameters and, and kids understanding that you know if you're if you're late coming into school for example you you're already late don't stop at the coffee shop whereas the mentality was well I'm already late so I'm just gonna stop and get a coffee the MCHS coffee shop will always be one of the great opportunities the school provides for students even though privileges got taken away there's still an opportunity for the coffee shop to return reporting for the Warrior Weekly were Kylie Janowski, Allie Casey, and Emily Ostrander